Okay, let's talk about some non-common rail technologies and we'll skip then right into common rail technology, which is pretty much what we have out there on the road today. So non-common rail technology broke into three types, inline, sometimes called rotary pump, individual control pump, and unitized injection. So looking at the slide right we see right here, here's an example of inline or rotary pump. Whether it's, it's all in one line or in a rotary fashion like we see right here on the, on the bench where I have a mechanical pump, it is going to be driven by the engine and timed to the engine just like an ignition distributor. So if you're not an advanced diesel guy, you might think of this, if you're a gas guy, as a distributor. So high pressure fuel instead of electricity, it rotates around and we distribute it one injector line at a time to a, an injector. So that in, in essence is a quick review of rotary. Now going on to our next category, we see the individual control pump. You could put the assembly all in one unit and have a rotating cam lobe surface, then apply a piston which is then going to build the pressure and spray out the bottom, or you could separate it by a fuel line between the injector nozzle and the unitized or uh, individual control pump pressure production device that's going to be run by a cam lobe for each cylinder. So there's one cam lobe and one pressurized piston plunger for each cylinder. Now very close cousin to that would be the unit injector. For those of you who do, off-road and heavy-duty work on CAT engines. This is a unitized type injector to where we're going to make the high pressure with the cam lobe against the spring and the piston in here and what's going to control the exact flow of the fuel and the timing of the fuel is the coil, the solenoid valve right over here. So there are various types of these but they all look about the same. They're pretty heavy-duty. This is the heavy-duty world. It's certainly not like that Mercedes behind me right now.